Are you dead yet? Okay. What we got here is a beautiful smallmouth bass. Now I know what you're thinking. Smallmouth bass, that's ugly. Wrong. It's a yummy fish. I'm gonna show you how to fillet it properly. Okay, same thing, just like a walleye. Cut it at a 45 degree angle. Cut all the way through, down to the, the bottom, and then you run from there to the pooper. Always to the pooper. Look, he's pooping. Um, I slit the guy's throat. Now you might go, why did he slit his throat? Fish tastes better without the blood. If you can do it ahead of time, a walleye, a smallmouth, anything. You bleed it, it's better. So same thing. Run it down the backbone and you'll hear yourself cutting through the ribs. One half. Flip them over. Bass are, the only thing is, this guy's pretty fresh. So if he flips up on me, that's just because I just killed him. Same thing, 45 degree angle. Because you're getting all that extra meat. Most guys go straight across like that. You're missing that nice, beautiful chunk of meat. Same thing, run it down. You can hear yourself cracking the backbone. The rib cage, not the backbone. The riding the backbone. I can tell I'm a little off right here. I'm just going to fix it. Always happens when I'm talking and doing it. I screwed that up, see? Talking doesn't help, but I salvaged it. You can always salvage it. See, not the best. I haven't filleted a bass in a long, long time. Same thing. Run your knife against the backbone. I say same thing like you watched my other video. Okay, rip cage out. This is the one I screwed up on, so bear with me. I only caught one bass to show you guys today. Oh, that one's butchered. We'll use the good side. So same thing, they have a, a Y bone slice on each side. And you got yourself a beautiful um, filet. Same thing, got it up, pull it off. Scrape all the guckies off. Throw that out. Now you're supposed to leave a piece of skin on, and I would, except I'm gonna be cooking these in about five minutes in Manitoba. I don't know how you guys are, but again, I'll say the wide bone right here, run your knife real nice and close. And then run it again. And what you got here is a beautiful boneless piece of smallmouth bass. 